all right guys so here's what i've been using um and i've been using for a long time um we'll start with the analogs these are just a couple sets i got a couple more that need to be rebuilt i mean i've i've used these since day one guys you can see this manifold these, these are old these have taken a beating all i do is buy new gauges when i need them you can also buy rebuild kits for these you can see some of my hoses aren't the right colors because i use what hoses i got until i have to buy new ones but it's just you know these are just your plain old run-of-the-mill yellow jacket gauges you know these are the older ones except for the you know r12 22 and 502 but you can still use them for anything others may not agree with me but you can um and these are just the newer type that are set you know 404 22 but then 410 i can do 410a with these and with the hoses and everything um so they don't get up the higher pressure for the uh, especially for the 410a guys and then these are my digitals they're the s-man 360s i've had these i don't know close to three years now probably guys i don't use them on every every job i don't feel that i need to i use these more when i'm doing new startups and something um that's a maybe a, a harder to diagnose when i need you know i need to take liquid line temperatures or discharge line or suction line temps to get super heats and sub cooling and all that um you can see i got a set to 404a now but there i forget how many but there was all kinds of refrigerants that you can you can do on this guy probably almost every refrigerant is already programmed into these um just a quick thing this is your targeted super heat you can set that to whatever you want um you know and then when you're actually reading pressures and everything you'll you know your suction line temp your liquid line temp and then you will get your superheat over here it will tell you for when you're setting superheats same with sub cooling um this is just would be for like your vapor saturation temp and your liquid saturation temp um these gauges have been very good guys they've served me well um one other thing about them they are not the thing that bothers me about them is these probes have the wires you can see i have them tied up but i find it all they always get in the way when i'm putting my gauges on a unit and getting my hoses it's always getting tangled up um the newer ones i may be mistaken they might be the s-man 480s or something like that they come with wireless probes now and it will still read on the screen um, which is really cool um i'd like to get a set of those maybe one day just to have the the wireless feature because like i said i get really annoyed with these these cables here they're pretty long they're like three four feet long maybe when they're stretched out so i got just velcro wraps on them uh they don't come with um hoses i bought the set of hoses that go with them these low loss fittings they're pretty good but these are notorious for leaking they'll always break they won't stay low loss or they'll leak out of here they're not the best but that's what i got with them what i do prefer is like what i have on my analogs here these ball valves these little extensions you buy these and put them onto the regular hoses. These, um, in my opinion, are better and they last a lot longer. So that's that's just my personal preference. This is just a set of Testo 550s. These are not mine. I don't even know how to use these. I've never used Testos. These are my buddies. I'll break his balls. He left them on a job site like an idiot. Luckily, I went back there and found them. No one took them, thank God. They were down in a basement. So found those for him, so now he owes me <laughs> but i mean that's basically it guys for the gauges that i use so just wanted to give you i've gotten questions about that what ones i'm using so these are them all right guys so that's it another short little video um i've gotten questions on the gauges i use so i figured i'd throw this up for you guys um just to mention a couple things that i forgot about the my digitals the field piece the s-man 360s do come with a built-in micron gauge um works fine never had an issue with it uh but normally i'm so used to it i just end up you know i hook up another micron gauge anyway of just 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 habit you know um and the older analog gauges the ones that are set for the older gases you know r12 22 502 you can't hook those up to 410a guys you'll blow the gauges you'll pin the needle and it'll blow them they'll be broken um also you got to make sure you have the right pressure hoses as well um the older ones even the the hoses are rated at a lower pressure so you want pressure that can hold 410 if you're working on those systems um and i also want to say um 
a lot of guys may disagree with me now that we have all these modern things like digital gauges, wireless probes, and all this crap. You don't need them to do this job, guys. You can do anything just fine on the analogs. I didn't even start using digital gauges till like four years ago, okay? And I've never had an issue. And I think every younger guy should start with analogs because you need to know how to read analog gauges, how to set superheats and subcooling manually. I also feel that analog gauges, they're easier to set pressure controls because the digitals, when you're trying to set a pressure control and you're pumping down and up, there's a little that little bit of delay we could set them wrong. I like the analogs because I like seeing the needle go up and down right where it is so I know what I'm set at. You know, so like I said, you know, you you new guys that are getting into this, you don't have to go spend, you know, four or five hundred bucks on a set of gauges. You can start out with analogs. I don't care what anyone tells you. They work just fine. And I know a lot of older guys will will totally agree with me on that. So, well, then that's pretty much it, boys. Hope everyone's doing well. I'm on call this weekend. I got one call yesterday. We're doing good. Sunday afternoon, no other calls. I'm on till Friday. Hopefully, it'll be a slow week because the weather's been good. Right now, it's been like 40, 45, which is awesome for up in this area right now. It feels like springtime. <laughs> so, anyways, guys, if you're new, consider subscribing as well. Um, you other guys, hit that bell notification. You'll know right when I put up a video. And I'll catch you boys in the next one.